Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the daily challenge for August 26, 2022. The character of the Ironclad and the modifier star Kamira, you're starting deck as a fusion of all characters. Colorless cards, colorless cards, no pain rewards. In lethality, you start each combat with plus 3 strength, and all enemies start each combat with plus 3 strength. I used to remember back before the Watcher was out, Chimera was actually a very difficult modifier, because without the eruption that you get from the Watcher, you actually end up with very few good attack cards, and I used to die a lot on Act 1, but but now with the Watcher, well, not with the Watcher, with the, specifically the uh, eruption, this should be much easier. Now, Ironclad and Colorless cards make me think that I probably should go for the Highlander modifier, but we'll see if I get some good duplicates. I see Steven here in 1276, uh, that's a pretty good score, actually. No, uh, nobody else. I'm playing, start playing a little later than usual. Vorpal in 25th place was 1226, uh, and I'm pogging here with 1180. I haven't seen uh, that name in a while, so glad to have uh, him back in the dailies. Let's review the scores from yesterday. So, a few very interesting observations. Um, I am not sure. I don't think a lot of people went for Cursor. So a few people like Pelts and Monkey Bone said that they thought that they wouldn't, there, there's no way that they could get Curses, which admittedly I thought so too. But then, you know, I started taking a few Curses and in the end I did get the Curse modifier. Um, but then Shaggy, for example, was able to get ninth place with 1228, um, actually tied with 8th place too. Um, and Shaggy just was able to perfect everything. Um, I, I don't think Shaggy was able to get Curses, so I think theoretically another 100 points would have been doable. But yeah, that's a pretty good score. Um, and then, let's see, oh, nobody in the, wait, I think I skipped something. Okay, so I end up being 35th. That's pretty good. So Monkey Bone and Pelts were able to get uh, slightly more points than me without being able to go for Curses or without thinking to go for Curses. Oh, and then Joe was also able to get, uh, to perfect everything. Again, I suspect without actually going for Curses. So again, higher score would have been possible. Holographic one ended up being 21st place too. And yeah, 35th place I think is fine. I had missed two out of the three elites. Uh, sorry, bosses. Two out of three bosses. So uh, I am, uh, you know, I think the Curses really helped me get to that score. Um, and then I think Pelts. Yeah, I think Pelts also mentioned that um, Pelts missed one boss as well. So could have had a higher score too. Um, and then, so besides the people who were able to um, finish the game, perfect at least a few bosses and, uh, you know, li like me get curses, um, there are also a few people who died, which I found funny how um, how variable the whole run was. Uh, so Chef on the Cloud died to the Maw and Turner died to the Sneko, uh, to the Sneko fight. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely possible to die yesterday. But... Um, yeah, let's move on to today's run. I think yesterday was interesting. I, I used to not really like certain future runs, but it was I think it was a fun run. All right, moving on to today. So I'll briefly review the Chimera deck. So we start off with three strikes and three defense, and then one eruption, zap, survivor, and bash. And unfortunately, with the, uh, with the eruption, we won't be able to exit Wrath at all. So I will use it for the slime boss. I think that's a perfect card to have. But other than that, I might consider removing it on Act 2. All right, so there's a two lead path on the right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's a good amount of question mark rooms. Uh, yeah, let's get started. There's also an early shop. Hopefully one of the question mark rooms will give me some uh, some extra gold. All right, um, 18. I can't kill with... Actually, never mind. I have extra strength, right? So let's do bash and strike. Okay. Unfortunately, this turn I'll be weakened. I have 10 incoming. Eruption strike would be 21. Yep, that's exactly enough. All right, Dropkick, Clash, or Deep Breath. Because I have the Bash, Dropkick is better than nothing. Clash might be bad if I get uh, more skills. And Deep Breath is fine, but not now. I think I'll go with the Dropkick. Mm -hmm. All right, here, Acid Slime. Let's just kill here. I'll do Strike, Dropkick, uh, Dropkick, and then Strike, too. Okay. 11. Can I kill here? Yes, I can. Yeah, Extra Strength while in Lethality is always nice. Second wind, heavy blade, fire breathing. I do have three extra strength, but it is not a bad attack card. Let's take the heavy blade. Okay. Uh, here I upgrade to random cards, drop kick and survivor. The survivor upgrade is actually nice. Might help perfecting things. And is there anything I need to remove? Not really. I think I'll gain the gold here. My deck is small already. I mean, I could have removed the basic strike or something, but I think it's okay. I don't have a lot of extra gold. Um, pummel with the extra strength is great. Let's take it. And then I can either take a card or a relic. These are some good relics. I think the Sling of Courage might not be a bad idea. So it should come with two extra strength. The reason I, I'm considering that because that will make the Heavy Blade much stronger. 
Uh, Happy Fire is also really good. Every three turns get extra energy. It's basically one third of the value of an energy relic, of an energy boss relic, but at no downside. And pretty cheap, 150 gold. You know what? Let's take it. The other option was also to take a card and then the block potion. That might have allowed me to perfect the boss, but I think long term having the Happy Fire is better. Um, so here, oh boy, um, I can't wake, right? Um, mm, there's no way I can defend, uh, even if I draw the pummel next turn while in wrath. Hang on, let me do a quick calculation. So if I do eruption and then strike, so that'll be 18, 12, 30 damage. And then next turn, let's say I draw the pummel. So that'll be 20 times two, so 40 damage. So that's 80. And then another, what would that be? Um... 23 times 2, so 46. Um, that would be... That would be more than enough. Uh, I... There's no way I can fully defend. So I think just to try to perfect, I will try to do this. Yeah, because while there's no way to, for me to fully defend, there is a way to uh, for me to perfect. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done here. Um... Right, because it's um, 40, 58. Yeah, not even close. I needed the pummel, basically, and I just didn't get it. All right, in that case, let's defend a little a little bit. I'll do drop, kick, and strike. Take a lot of damage here. But then, yeah, the pummel would have been 40 damage and then heavy blade. Yeah, I calculated correctly. All right. The two cards I need, I didn't get. That's ceramic fish. One of you add a card to your deck, gain 9 gold, as well as a skill potion. And I'll take super length with the extra strength. Rampage might have been good. At this point, my deck is still pretty thin. Uh, now that I did lose a lot of HP, I should try to be a little bit more conscious about how much HP I have. Uh, hang on, 18, 32, 44. I can just kill by doing Eruption and Sword for Mine. Awesome. Okay. Flex, Pummel Strike, Perfecto Strike. I don't think I have enough for Perfecto Strike. Let's go with the Pummel Strike. Flex would have been fine too. All right, Grumman Knob. Um, here I have to start with the Eruption and Sword for Mine. Okay. And again, if I can get the... Um, pummel, that would be ideal. Alright, I did get lucky here, so I was able to perfect. At Horn Cleat, at the start of your second turn, gained 14 block, as well as, oof. Do I want to go for Popper? Yesterday, some people did point out that they didn't go for Popper, and that was a mistake. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll take it, I'll take the offering, and I can remove an Act 3 if I don't see any other rare cards. I feel like in the last, uh, like, what, two weeks ago, I kept losing fights or not doing well because I wasn't taking rare cards, so let's try to avoid that. A champion build, one of you apply vulnerable, also apply one weak. That's, that makes the bash much more valuable. And blue candle, unplayable curse cards cannot be played. One of you play curse with one HP and exhausted. That's really good. Well, now I just need some curses. Speaking of, I got the injury curse here as well as the golden idol. Enemies drop 25% more gold. All right. And then I got the fungi beast here. Should I kill one of them? Um, hang on, so this would be 12, 24. I would have to hit this guy twice. Yeah, let me not risk it. There's a chance if I do... Actually, let's do Sword Boomerang first. Okay, well, now I can do Eruption. Now that I know I can kill one of them and it won't take any damage, and 28 should be... Uh, I was going to say very doable. All right, well, hang on. 24. Okay, fine. I'm going to use the Offering here. That's so I can kill. That was unfortunate. Got a Speed Potion, Dark Embrace, Havoc Armaments. I had a lot of fun with Dark Embrace yesterday. Today, I don't... Th well, it would affect the Curse to Pummel and the Offering, and that's pretty much it, but I am thinking of taking it. It does seem very useful. Let's take it. Yeah, card draw is important. I might consider even upgrading that quickly. Um, but no, I think for now... Should I upgrade the Eruption? Because the problem is I, I do want to remove it after Act 1. But so far, it is pretty useful. Let's upgrade it. Hmm. All right. And last question mark room. I remove Transformer Upgrade. Um... Do I need... I could transform a strike, because I did pick up a lot of other attack cards. Let's do that. All right. I got a second win. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll accept it. Uh, I think it's a good defensive... Well, it can be a good defensive card. Do not upgrade the pummel. Um, offering, I might remove... Let me upgrade the Dark Embrace instead, yeah. Just make things easier to play. Okay, so Slime Boss. All right, I'm very happy that I'm getting the Eruption early on. Do I want Offering? Um, yes, because I would like to play the Dark Embrace if I can. I cannot, but I can do... I can transform if I do Bash on Pummel. Uh, I don't actually want to do that. Uh, so instead, I'll do Bash, Drop Kick. Uh, 33 is not yet enough to transform, but it is getting very close. Uh, and I'll get rid of the Injury. Okay, so hopefully... Actually, you know what? I can just do... 
Yeah, let's just do 60 damage. I can just kill here. All right, first turn slime boss kill. I wish I had this yesterday. Got a blessing of the forge. Oh, and I completely forgot that yesterday um, I somebody pointed out and I pinned the comment yesterday that I could have easily perfected the Act 2 boss. I completely forgot to mention at the beginning, but it was very, in retrospect, very obvious. I should have just used the potion to trigger the um, ornamental fan. Sorry, sorry, I just remember that. All right, so bludgeon thinking at transmutation. I am thinking I'll try to go for popper. Yeah, because I'm not a huge fan of any of these. Bludgeon is great, but um, I do have extra strength with lethality, and bludgeon doesn't really benefit too much from it. Yeah, let's let's skip this one and try to go for popper. All right, so. I would like to continue to upgrade. I think I'll go with the Slaver's Collar. Doing boss and elite combats, get extra energy at the survey turn. The Astrolabe might give me duplicates, so let's play it safe. Take this relic. Okay. It basically gives me energy on the fights that I care about. All right. One, two. Two elite paths, multiple. So between left and right, early elite. On the left, on, on the right side, I'll get four crush mark room. To the left side, I get one. Uh, sorry, I get one less, so three. Uh, but then if I stay on the left, I can get two extra crush mark rooms. If I stay in the middle, I can either turn left and get the same, or I can... Wait, is there a better path? Well, there's a path with a shop, but no, I think that's it. So, so okay, so I think the best thing is to start on the left, go right, and then go left again. So that'll be six crush mark rooms and two elites. Okay. All right, so let's do... Wait, can I kill without... If I do bash, sword boomerang... And a str oh right, I can't do strike. So let's do offering here, and then I can do pummel as well as a ooh strike is not enough to kill. Okay, got me close though. All right, I can do pummel strike heavy blade. Mm -hmm. uh, twin strike body slam headbutt. I think I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, I think now is the right time to pick a headbutt. Yeah, twin strike is fine, body slam is fine, but let's go with the headbutt. Would allow me to get some cards back. Uh, definitely not want to lose any of my gold here. Eruption is tempting, um, so I can do 22, yeah, so let's do Eruption, then Bash, kill this guy, and then Pummel, who does not kill the backline, okay, let me kill this guy then, okay, you have to deal 42 damage somehow, um, Pummel Strike, um, yeah, Dropkick does, uh, does kill for a second, I wasn't sure, we got a Red Mask at the start of each combat, we'll have one weak to all enemies, as well as Wild Strike is good, Iron Wave is good, um, let's do the Wild Strike, yeah. Once I play the Dark Embrace, uh, card draw is not going to be a problem. Remove a card for 75 gold? I don't, I don't think so. I feel like I already moved it enough. And, you know, I need to get to 50 cards anyway. All right, well, now I get a free removal. If it's free, I will remove probably another Strike, yeah, again. And hopefully I'll pick better offensive cards instead. All right, Shell Parasite. Uh, let's start with the Offering. Um, Bash is great. I can do Pummel Strike. And then Heavy Blade is 34. Let's do Pummel. And, um, yeah, I'll just do Survivor. Take a little bit of damage here. Okay. 15. I am almost fully defended. Uh, can I do... Yeah, I think I can kill if I do Eruption, Headbutt, and that's enough. Okay. All right. Panache Whirlwind is pretty good. It's pre-upgraded, too. With extra strength. It's, it's, it's basically I don't have any UE damage so far, so that might be good. All right. Book of Stabbing. Um... 18 right off the bat. I don't think there's anything I can do unless the skill potion gives me something amazing. Balance. I don't think there's any way I can defend against 18. Um, trying to think if I, there's anything I can exhaust and as a result draw something else with Dark Embrace. But no, there's literally nothing I can do. Um, even the Good Instincts only upgrades to 9 block, not, not what I need. Together with the P Speed Potion, it'll still be 18. Uh, sorry, not 18. So um, it'll be 14, right? I need 18. I don't think there's a way I can perfect this one. Is the violence going to give me... Actually, the only attack that would give me some defensive capabilities is the Iron Wave, which I didn't take, right? Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, what about... Oh, I can... Oh, he's already weakened. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. In that case, um, let me take the Good Instincts just to preserve some HP. Um, I will do Dark Embrace, uh, let's do Good Instincts, and then I can do something like Wild Strike, um, Sword Boomerang, and then I'll Headbutt probably the Sword Boomerang back, okay. Yep, 18 incoming, uh, can I kill here? 
I do have, hang on, so if I do Eruption, I can play the other three cards. So that's 18 plus 20 is 38, plus another 12 is 40, 50. With double damage, it's 100, and then Eruption is more than 110. Awesome. All right, too bad about that first turn. We got Toxic Egg, one of you, add a skill into your deck, upgrade it, as well as a, an Energy Potion, and Havoc might be good. I, I think I'll finally take an upgrade Armaments. There was a discussion, I think, two days ago on my... Um, in my comments about whether armaments is uh the best card i actually don't think it's that good of a card and uh jorbs actually has a great video where he explains that basically the cost uh, of armaments is that you have an extra card and ideally it's the decision is whether you want to upgrade it or upgrade something else um which you would want to upgrade anyway um anyway so he has a pretty good point that it's not necessary but this is pre-upgraded so i think it's slightly different all right, and then I decided to go left for two more question mark rooms, right? So let's first upgrade. Um, yeah, let's finally upgrade the pummel. All right, and then here I got snake plan right after the um, right after the uh, after the book of stabbing. Um, I think I can just do whirlwind here. Yeah, I don't think I need to play the offering. I'll hopefully be able to kill. I have 30 incoming. I can do. Um, never mind. I cannot kill. Uh, so let's do armaments uh, survivor. And then I'll do defend to not take any damage, but it's not how I wanted this to go. Another 30. Can I kill? No, no, I'm weakened too. Yeah, I probably should have played the offering when I had a chance. Uh, let's do zap. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, well, actually, I don't even need the zap, right? Let's do strike, drop kick, and then pummel. Okay. Oh, yeah, taking 30 damage there. Alright, and then here I can do Eruption for a kill. Yep. Got a Fear Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Havoc, Shrug it off. I think now I'll take a Shrug it off. Both time would have been fine too, but let's go with the Shrug it off. And Torian and Thopter, one of you use a Potion, heal 5 HP. Okay. And here I'll probably go with the Special Relic. I don't think I need to transform or get Jack. So Special Relic is the Mutagenic Strength. Start each combat with 3 Strength. At the end of your first turn, lose 3 Strength again making my first turn pretty powerful. Okay. And then here, let's upgrade the Sword Boomerang too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, okay, this is another shop. Or, uh, actually, my first shop, right? Do I want... Actually, no, that's my second shop, right? I had an early one. Do I want orange pellets? I do have one power. I'm not sure if it's worth it, though. It might allow me to play something like a Speed Push indefinitely, though. And, by the way, I can afford all three... Um, Relics, but I, I don't obviously want to do that. Let's take the orange pellets. One of you, you play a power, uh, power attack and skill in the same turn. And remove all of your debuffs. Some might come in handy, and I don't think I need the other two. Um, I never picked up a havoc, so let's do twin strike and havoc. Do I want evolve? Right now, the only way I can get a status card into my hand is through the um, wild strike, and I don't think that is enough. So I think I'll skip it. Um, and I don't think I need any other potions either, or card removal yet. I do need to remove that offering later on, but I think this is good. Okay. Alright, shield parasite and the fungi beast. Should I enter wrath? That's a little dangerous and early, but this would deal... Oh, right, with extra strength, that's 80 damage. Um, yeah, so let's do eruption pummel. Okay, and then, yeah, alright, that made my life much easier we got a flex potion which given that i have the orange pellets i'm thinking instead of the energy potion i'll take the flex potion here hearing blow headbutt combust um who's my final boss bronze automaton combust was fine maybe just to trigger the orange pellets more frequently i should take it let's do it yeah. all right here actually combust wouldn't be a bad idea um let's start with offering oh boy okay so pummel strike Get rid of the injury. Uh, hmm. Do I want to headbutt something? I guess I can headbutt the... Um, um, what, what was it? It wasn't Twin Strike, right? It was the... Uh, I got really confused there. What did I just play? The Pummel Strike, right? Um, so then let's just do Twin Strike, Heavy Blade, and Wild Strike. Okay. Hmm. Um, here, let's do Pummel Strike... And then pummel. I guess, yeah, I can drop you and, and do combust. Okay. And I just need not even 14, just 7 damage, right? Um, which I almost didn't get. Let's do dark embrace, uh, or strike, dark embrace, havoc. And that played a zap. And yeah, I can just do in case. Okay. 
All right, perfected this one. Good. Let's see. We got a potion belt. That's really good. Okay, I can pick up getting two potion slots as well as... I already have... Well, Pommel Strike. I don't want Perfect the Strike. Um, and I will take Panic Button as my favorite card. Sort of have to. At this point, I've committed. Um, upgrade the Heavy Blade to be able... No, I think I'll upgrade the Bash. Yeah, because I have the um, Champion Belt and I have the Dropkick. to get that upgraded. All right, let's start with Offering. I do have a power here, so I will get rid of all debuffs. So I think what I'll do is I'll drink the Flex Potion and the Speed Potion just to be safe. And then I'll do Dark Room Base. And I still need to play a power card, so let's do Swarp from Ring. Okay. All right, that way I have permanent Strength Index, which is great. And I can play all my attacks. So Strike, Zap, uh, Twin Strike, and Wall Strike. Okay. All right, I do need to defend against a lot here. Um... Luckily, I think I have a pretty good hand. I can hit something that I want to get played um, and then played with the Havoc. But I can't really think of anything to do that with. Uh, Sword from Ring is probably fine. Um, oh, yeah. Even if I can fully defend against this guy. Uh, hang on. I have 26, 14 is 40. I'm getting attacked for 42, though. Can I kill one of them? 21 and then another... Like 30 something. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, so let's do bash, then headbutt. That is not enough. Oh no. It is not enough. Um, so I think the best thing I. Oh, actually, wait, hang on. I should, I should be able to play Havoc. Okay, good. So I was able to kill one of them. Phew. Uh, which means now it is enough. Okay, that was a close one. Yeah, I need to kill one of them. Uh, the other option is to rely on the Lightning Orb, but that would have been, would have been very dangerous. Um, all right, so Whirlwind, a 3 energy Whirlwind is enough to kill the Frontliner. So let's do Pummel, and then the 3 energy Whirlwind. Okay. All right, I only need 36 damage. That seems very doable. Um, hmm. Or I can do a Panic Button, actually. That's the other option. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Actually, never mind. I can kill with Heavy Blade. <laughs> All right, we've got an Ancient Potion, Transportation Crystals, or Barricade. Let's skip again and try to remove the Offering on this act, on this coming act, I guess. Uh, Mark of the Pain is interesting, and that would make the Evolve better. Um, so gain energy at the start of your turn. At the start of combat, shuffle two wounds into your draw pile. I don't think I need... Actually, I could use Empty Cage to remove the Offering. And then I would also have to remove like another card, which could be the Curse. It is possible to get four Curses on Act 3, but it's very difficult and very unlikely. So I could just remove the Curse. Um... Yeah, just to be safe, let's take the Empty Cage and then remove the Offering and the Curse, okay? All right, Don't on Decca at the end. Okay. So, one, two, two Elite Paths. If I start on the right, actually, uh, if I stick on the left, it's only, yeah, too few question mark rooms. If I start on the right, I'll get uh, Early Shop, three question mark rooms here, continuing on to five and six total question mark rooms, okay? If I stayed on the right, three, four, just four. Okay, so I'm starting going in the middle here, zigzagging to hit a bunch of question mark rooms and two elites. Okay. All right, I kind of actually, yeah, you know what? Let's do panic button and then we'll win. That'll just make my life easier. And actually, I am able to kill that way and not take any damage, of course. Already have the armaments and Superman. Cleave is a worse, worse version of the whirlwind, but let's take it. I do need to get to at least 35 cards. Okay, um, I can almost afford all of the uh, relics. Uh, I will take the Vajra, so I just come with one strength. I think that will help. Toolbox, at the Savage Combat, choose one of three uh, random colorless cards and add the chosen card to your deck. I think that's also pretty good. Already have the armaments. Um, I don't have Iron Wave and Flex. I could consider taking them. Let's take them. So Flex and Iron Wave. Okay. I want a potion. Let's do a Swift Potion just in case. Okay, so here I have to lose something. I'm probably okay losing the second win. I haven't used it that often yet. Um, and the other two are pretty good, so I shouldn't try to lose those. And then here, let's... Actually, I guess I don't want to curse anymore. And, okay, I got a heal instead for no reason, which is fine. Hmm. All right, Darklings here. I would like a whirlwind. That would make my life easier. Let's do thinking ahead. And then, yeah, play that. All right, I guess Combust will also help. Um, I do have nine incoming. Can I do something like Pummel Strike and Survivor? Okay. All 
Alright, oof, that's a lot of incoming. Um, let's do Shrug it off, and I might have to do Panic Button, actually. I don't see another way, because it's 52 incoming. Uh, 54, sorry. Yeah, so I think I'll do... Let's do Cleave, Zap, and then I'll do Panic Button, and I just hope that I won't get attacked next turn, or that I can kill whoever is attacking me next turn. Okay, front liner, back liner. Let's try to get that work. Let's do Dark Embrace. Um, Bash kills this guy, and then Havoc was a flex potion although i can do sword boomerang uh unfortunately very close to being able not no might right thanks to the combust i was able to kill there we got a skill potion sword boomerang uppercut or trigger trigger is not bad but let's take the uppercut i think that's going to be more relevant and then yeah going in the middle i want to make sure i don't accidentally path the wrong way uh yeah definitely take curse number two not for the curse but for the lots of gold in case i you know have a shop coming up speaking of all right look at my luck Okay, so good thing I already removed the offering. So now I can remove the other curse. So that would have been curse number two. And um, dual will is interesting, but not super necessary. Although I think I'll still take it. And in flame is really good. I'll take that too. Who's my final boss, by the way? Um, don't know Decca, right, right. So not the Awaken one, which makes things easier. I don't think I need... Uh, yeah, I don't think I need any of the relics. Uh, potions wise, I don't think I need them either, though. That's a problem. Feels silly leaving so much gold on the table, but there's just no need. So let's just move on. Okay. All right, transient. This should be easy if I can enter wrath quickly. Uh, let's take the enlightenment, and then I did not was not able to enter wrath. Let's do pummel strike. Um, I should have done flex first. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter too much here. Um, so I, I should just deal enough damage so that I don't take any damage myself and then move on. Um, so let's do Bash, Pummel. Fifty-three. Uh, this is perfect for Dark Embrace. I can do Twin Strike, Cleave. Or, uh, actually, yeah, Heavy Blade does way more damage. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, and here I definitely, ooh, I was going to say I should enter Wrath, but once I enter it, I'm going to have a lot of incoming, and I don't have a lot of attack cards. Let's see what the Havoc plays. That's a defend. All right, now with Dropkick, that might be different. Let's do Eruption, Dropkick. Yeah, still 16 incoming. Luckily, I have Headbutt. And then let me Headbutt the Panic Button. That will make my life, I think, much easier, too. Okay. All right, and then here I can just do Whirlwind. And if that's not enough, that is not enough, so I might as well do Panic Button. Okay. Alright, so, uh, Dramatic Entrance, Perfect to Strike, Panic Button. Let's go with the Dramatic Entrance, not a bad idea. Although, yeah, we have to figure out a way to increase um, my opening hand size. We got Strike Dummy, Cards Containing Strike, deal 3 additional damage, very useful. And then going on left and turning right. Ooh, Reptomancer. Okay. Um, I, I'm not going to attack this turn, so I'm not going to take the panic button. Let's take the uh, purity, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so I think I picked... Uh, actually, no, wait. Did I pick panic button? Uh, no, let's go with the secret weapon here, actually. Um, I might have trouble defending. Okay, just to be safe, I'll take the panic button. Okay, never mind. I got a second one. All right, so I have dramatic entrance with eruption. I can deal way more damage. So let's do eruption. Then Dramatic Entrance, and then I'll do Iron Wave. A bummer, I should have probably taken Secret Weapon. It would have allowed me to grab another attack card, because now I am in trouble. So this is uh, 96. Never mind, I am not in trouble. Great to have so much strength. We've got Bag of Preparation at the Savage Combat, draw two additional cards. And Flame Barrier might be a great defensive card. I'm a little worried about the upcoming bosses not being able to fully defend against them. Or not being able to kill them on time. So let's take the Flame Barrier. Okay. All right, Rithing Math. This could give me a third curse. Um, I can probably take the Dramatic Entrance here. All right. Uh, let's do Flame Barrier, Dramatic Entrance 1 and 2. 13 is probably fine. Yeah, let's not jinx it. Because okay. I actually don't want a curse in this case. I'm fully defended here. Let's do Dark Embrace, Wild Strike, and should I do Twin Strike? Um, I should. I should try at least. Okay, great. That's like the exact thing I didn't want to do. Let's use the Swift Potion here to do um, Headbutt, and I'll probably Headbutt Flame Barrier. 18. Yeah, yeah, I'll... Actually, I guess I can do Havoc. Yeah, let's do Havoc now. Okay. 
All right, another 30. Can I kill you? If I do Eruption Uppercut, I won't have the energy to play the Dropkick. Unless I use the Energy Potion. Uh, what if I instead just do Cleave and Dropkick? That's 24 times... Actually, well, let's do Flex first. So now it's 32, 64. 74, 80, um, 81. That's not enough. That is not enough. Um, let me start with Uppercut then to weaken. Nine. Yeah, I think I'll just have to accept the nine damage and hope I can kill another turn. Okay, so I'm getting... Oh, no. I don't have any attacks. I don't want to waste... Wait, should I waste another potion? Yeah, fine. Let's see what the skill potion gives me. Burning pack might help. Let's do burning pack the wound. Okay. Okay, luckily, I do have the whirlwind. Um, oh, boy. Let's do worried about taking too much damage but i think i have to risk it let's do inflame and then just whirlwind and okay yeah i have 21 incoming and there's not much i can do about that okay getting a curse again it's like and again i don't have a good defensive card great uh let's just shrug it off pummel strike okay um 13 is good let's do armaments and wait all right, so here I can finally do Eruption, Cleave, and Kill. Good. Okay, we've got another Blessing of the Fortress. Just a little too much. Um, I can't take the Berserk between Bloodletting and Flex. I already have the Flex. Let's take the Bloodletting. Hopefully with enough card draw, it should be useful. And then going on the left, we'll one more question mark room. Okay. Um, Finesse is probably fine. A panic button is, I don't think, necessary here. Um, all right, so let's upgrade everything, then do Finesse. Uh, dramatic entrance. Actually, combust might not be a bad idea. Let me see if I can get by without it. Um, so let's do twin strike and then havoc, uh, flame barrier. Okay, and then I'll do iron wave. I feel like I might be able to perfect this one without playing the um, uh, the combust. I was blanking on the name there. All right. Um, so here, let's do headbutt. What? Kill the backliner, then headbutt. A twin strike, I guess. Okay. And then I will do defend and zap. We'll take a little bit of damage that way, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then here, flex, cleave. Twin strike, and that's it. Alright, good. Okay, havoc, flash of steel, rupture. Rupture is interesting because I have combust, but that's pretty much the only reason. And I guess I have... Actually, I removed the curses, right? So I'm not even going to be able to trigger them with the boot candle, trigger the rupture. Um, let's still take it. It is a power. Uh, might help me trigger the orange pellets more often. Okay. And then here, ooh, Mind Blast. Is it too late for that? Jack of all trades is interesting. Swift Strike is nice. Um, did I just take a Flash of Steel? No, no. So I could take one now. I don't think I need Forethought. And here's another Jack of all trades. All right. So here, let's take the Swift Strike. Here, I'll take the Flash of Steel. And here, I'll take the Jack of all trades. Okay. So that way I also got 235 cards, which is good. Transportation, Panache, or Impatience. I'm not getting attacked. Let's do... Let's do... Tra mm -hmm. I have to say, let's do Transportation. All right, so here I'll do Eruption, Sword Boomerang, Bloodletting, Wild Strike, Drast uh, Dramatic Entrance, and just kill with the Cleave. All right. Okay, we got Blood Vial at the Savage Combat uh, Heal 2 HP. As well as definitely enough paragraph reading. I think I'll take the, the upgrade trigger. That might help. All right. And then last upgrade should be Dramatic Entrance because I always played on turn one. Sure. Sure. Why not? Okay. All right. So don't have the best potions, I have to admit. Uh, Forethought Enlightenment Chrysalis. I do have 26 incoming. Let me take the um, Enlightenment, I guess. All right. So... Uh, okay, let's do Flex, Dark Embrace, and then Attack would get rid of the debuffs. Um, so let's do Dramatic Entrance here. Okay. It does not help me defend in any way. Um, let's do... Well, I guess I have the Panic Button always. Uh, let's do Bloodletting here. I should have done Rupture first, though, so them. All right. Then let's do Cleave, Drop Kick, and unfortunately, there's no way I... Sh uh, I should have gotten rid of the debuff. I think okay if I if I if I can't defend the next turn I think I'll reload because there's definitely a way for me to be able to fully defend. Um, yeah, let me see if I can actually kill here. 
If I can do Panache, um, the Whirlwind is uh, only 80-something damage. It's not going to be enough. Let's do Havoc, see what that plays. That's a Wild Strike, all right. And then I can do, um, well, Pummel, see what that draws. Okay, Whirlwind is definitely not enough. All right, I feel I feel bad because I recognized my mistake shortly afterwards. So let me reload real quick and try one more time. So basically, my mistake was that um, I was able to trigger the um, I was able to trigger the orange pellets uh, twice, but I didn't think of doing that with the panic button, which I should have done. Um, so let's try this one more time. I'll do dark embrace flex. Uh, I will do the panic button now, actually. And then I can do Dramatic Entrance to get rid of, rid of the debuffs. Yeah, I think I should have done that much sooner. I should also play the Bloodletting after the Rupture to gain extra strength. All right, and then I can just do Cleave and Dropkick. Okay. All right, so here I have 32 incoming, but I can use the Survivor to get to at least 225. Gets me closer. Let's do Jack of All Trades, uh, Panache, Havoc. Actually, let me do Pummel Strike first, then Havoc. That's a bash, all right. And then I can do Survivor and Armaments. Still not quite enough. How do I get two extra energy? Let me do Pummel. And there's a True Grid. Perfect. So I can drink the Energy Potion, um, play the True Grid, and then just do Whirlwind. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 32 incoming. Can I? I don't think I can kill here. I can weaken though. That's that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's do shrug it off. Um, ooh, I don't think I can do anything with a rupture. Yeah, that's a little too early here. Um, let's do uppercut. Um, so it's only 24 incoming. I only have 16. I can get that upgraded, but it's not going to help too much. It's only 19. Can I headbutt anything that would allow me to be fully defended? Not really. Maybe the survivor, maybe the true grid. Survivor would only give me three extra blocks, so that's not enough. Uh, let me see what this gives me. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing useful. Um, I don't see... Okay, so even though I reloaded, I don't see a way to perfect basically to turn three. The Deca attack. Um, even if I drew the right defensive cards, I think that would have been too much. Um, let's do Combust. Um, flame Barrier. I mean, yeah, at this point I'm not perfecting anymore, so it doesn't matter if I um, if I perfect this fight anymore. Okay. This was a pretty fast run, though. Yeah, 32 minutes. That's what happens when you have extra strength. Alright, let's do Twin Strike and then Heavy Blade. Okay. Alright, a little bit of a bummer. I wasn't able to perfect this one, but um, got pretty close other than that. Yeah, 1176. That's not bad. So let's see. Out of the six elites, I perfected uh, four. That's not bad. And then two of the three bosses, I did get light speed. Um, Highlander, Mr. Machine hit 17 question mark rooms. And I went for Popper. Librarian was pretty easy too. Um, did not see enough curses for Curse to be worth it. Um, definitely didn't see enough duplicates for Highlander to be worth it. Or sorry, for um, I guess doing collector bonus instead of Highlander. I'm happy with my choices. Um, unfortunately, I did not even get close to... Okay, I'm 44th. Now, if I had perfected the last boss, that would have been 1276. Okay, that would have catapulted me up to where uh, Steven is at with um, 1276. That's what would have happened. Um, Vorpa got exactly 50 points less, so I assume... I wouldn't be surprised if Vorpa was able to perfect the boss, but maybe not an elite or something else that went wrong there. But um, yeah, congratulations to Steven. That's a great score. And then everybody else, thanks for all the comments so far. Um, please let me know in the comments for this video how you played, if you got different RNG, if um, you weren't able to, uh, or you were able to perfect all the bosses, because I definitely, I definitely failed in that department. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Actually, no, uh, sorry, I had to re-record the last part. I uh, might not see you tomorrow. I um, am traveling for the next few days over the weekend, so I might not be able to record. I have my recording here with me. I will try to, but I, no promises. So uh, if you don't hear from me, from me until Monday, no worries. I'll probably be back um, either with the daily on uh, Tuesday. So that will be August, what, 7, 8, 9, 30th? Um, or Wednesday, depending on how jet-lagged I have, if I'm able to record one, I'll do that as soon as possible. So I will try to record one, but if I can't, uh, you know, wait for a few days, I'll be back. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.